Hello, hello, hello there, everyone. Facebook, how are you doing? Good evening, good evening. This is Joan T. Randall, author, speaker, transformational coach, and your personal development and professional development coach as well. And tonight, I just want to jump on because there is something that I want to share with you that I have been working on. And I like it, and so I wanted to share it with you as well so you can take part in your own self-discovery and self-awareness. And I don't want to do it on my own, so I want some partners, and I'm hoping that you would be excited to join me um, and do this. I just want to make sure that I am going public. Okay, there we are. So... Um, I'm just going to wait for some people to join me, and I will share what that is. And if you notice on the, um, the Facebook Live topic, it's a three-part awareness and self-discovery series. And if you stick with me through all three evenings, you will get a free gift by typing in the comment, hashtag identify. So if you're here with me tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday night, as I do this three-part series, then if you type in hashtag identify, then you get a free gift. It will go in a drawing, depending on how many people type the word hashtag identify. It will go in a drawing, and I will give you, send you, mail to you a free gift. So I'm super excited um, start to start and share with you. So I have been going through my journal and I have a planner um, called the Law of Attraction Planner and I absolutely love it. And there's an exercise there that really gives me um, an opportunity to really think things through and to really think about myself and um, what do I want to accomplish in life? Where do I want to go? Why am I here? What is my purpose? And I want to share that with you so you can be on this journey with me and be a part of it, right? So, as you know, as I said earlier, I'm a personal and professional development um, coach, and so I have a coaching program. It's an online, online self-paced coaching program, and it's called Stuck to Success in Five Steps. And literally, it takes you through a series of activities and um, learnings and modules that, can, that you can utilize to understand where you are now and the transition to go to success, right? So if you're stuck, and it doesn't mean that you're stuck in any one particular area of your life. It could be in any um, area of your life. It could be emotionally, psychologically, could be where your finances is concerned, it could be where your relationships are concerned, but just uh, stuck. You know, sometimes we go through some things in life that keep us in one place um, psychologically, although we're moving in other places in, in our lives. And so, um, you know, I developed this five-step um, training course that is now online, self-paced, that you can take to really help you move along, right? My job is not to take you to the destination, but to help you on the journey. Hi, Dorothy, how are you? So um, in that five-step program, um, which is called Stuck to Success in Five Steps, it takes you through five eyes, right? Five eyes. And the very first eye in that series is called Identify. And the reason why I start all of the modules with I is because when you say the word I, you are directly talking to yourself. You're directly, you know, addressing yourself, who you are, the person, you standing in the mirror looking at you, right? And so the very first one is the most important one for me. Why? Hey, sister, because identify allows you to really think of yourself, you know, as to where you are, right? Why are you here in this space? What got you there, you know, or how did you get there? And then what can you do to move away from there? So when you look at the very first word, identify, it really is taking a stock as to the position you are in currently 
and how you can move away from that, um, declutter, clear your mind, and get um, clarity as to you know what's the next step for you to move on, right? So what I'd like to share with you is these three, and I want you to actually write them down, right? I want you to write down these four things. And I think I listed all four of them at the head of this live. So if you don't get it when I'm speaking, then you can just always go back and you can write the questions down, right? So question number one, I mean, this is pretty cool. Question number one, and I want you to truly think about this. Hey, bro, how are you? Is what would I, and this when I'm saying I, I want you to say this to yourself. What would I want to experience in life if time and money were not an issue? That's a pretty deep question. What would I want to experience in life if time and money were not an issue? That was very deep for me. It really made me think. Number two, how do I want to grow? So where you are right now, are you happy with where you are? Hi, Sharon, how are you? Are you happy with where, where you are? And then if not, how do I want to grow? How do you want to grow? What do you want to do to up level, to go to the next step, to elevate? Number three, what do I want to contribute to this world? We have all, all of us have gifts and talents that God placed within us. A lot of people know what it is because it's that thing that you keep thinking about. You keep thinking about it. I want to do this. I want to do this. I feel strongly about this. Some other, others, some, I want to say some, uh, let me back up. Others, not some, others, their passion or their purpose is born out of pain. I know for me, my purpose came out of pain. The things that I experienced, domestic violence, betrayal, um, adultery, homelessness, that was born out of pain. So my purpose came out of pain, right? So what do you want to contribute to the world? That's number three. What do you want to contribute to the world? What is it that you have in your hands that you're gifted with, that you're talented with, that you can utilize to help others? And then number four, this is a two-part question. Who am I and why am I here? Why am I here? So I'm going to go through those questions again. And if you're just joining me, I'm going to like set the stage as to why I'm asking these questions. So again, this is a three-part series. So tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday night, I'm going to come on and I'm going to share with you um, a three-part awareness and self-discovery series. I am going through my journal, my planner for 2018. It's called the Law of Attraction Planner. And these are the questions that are posted in this planner. And as I am reading them, I am really digging deep to answer these questions with authenticity, right? What are some of the things that makes me want to be better? And so here are these questions. Number one, what would I want to experience in life if time and money were not an issue? And I'm saying that to myself too, right? And I want you to think about this. Seriously. Number two, how do I want to grow? What do you want to do to grow? You might be at an age or somewhere in life where you feel like, you know, time has passed and you don't want to pursue the thing that is in your heart. It is not too late to go after it. It's not too late to find it. It's not too late to get there. Number three, what do I want to contribute to the world? All the gifts and the talents that God gave to you. He didn't give them to you just so you can have it and not do anything with it. He gave it to you for you to be a blessing to others. So what do I want to contribute to the world? That is a powerful question. 
How would you answer that question? And then number four, who am I? Who am I? Why am I here? And I want you to seriously think about these questions and ask this to yourself. Who am I? When you stand and look in the mirror, who am I? Yes, you might be a father, you might be a mother, you might be a grandmother, you are a professional woman, you are a career person, you're a preacher, you're a teacher, you're a lawyer. But who are you really? Outside of the career and outside of those names, those titles from a job perspective. Who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose for being on this earth? What can I contribute? So those are the four questions tonight for part one that I would love for you guys to answer because I want to understand if you can truly identify and be aware of your energy, your space, and your purpose for being on this earth. Because trust me when I tell you, we all have purpose. It all, all of us, we're given gifts and talents and we have a purpose. There's a reason why we're here, every one of us. But there's some of us that go after that which is in us, that we know that we are purpose to do and we get up. And it doesn't matter when you decide to do it. You know, if you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, it doesn't matter when. Some of us know that we are purposed to do certain things and we get up and do it. And there are others that allow fear, self-sabotage, and other things that are external to prevent us from going after our purpose or from utilizing our gifts and talents. So I want you to answer those questions. You don't have to put them in the group, just on your own, just on your own. And this is part one of this. Again, question number one, why would I want, what would I want to experience in life if time and money were not an issue? Number two, how do I want to grow? Number three, what do I want to contribute to this world? And number four is a loaded two-part question. Who am I? Hi, Marjorie, how are you? Beautiful lady. Who am I and why am I here? And so I'm gonna leave you with that for tonight, for part one. And when I, please join me tomorrow night on Facebook Live as I go to part two again. If you use the hashtag identify, at the end of the three-part series, you will be entitled for a free gift, a free giveaway from me. I won't tell you what the giveaway is yet. I just want you to roll with me through this. It's a new year. Um, as I said last night on my, on my live, forget about resolution. Throw that out the door and just focus on you, restoring you, becoming the best you as opposed to a new year resolution. Make it simple. The things that you want to accomplish this year, make it simple. Things that you can do. Look at life as a whole. Finances, relationships, spirituality, health and, we and wellness. The cycle of life. Look at the cycle of life. And do one thing in each of those cycles to, you know, to be better at. Whatever you choose, to um, work on this year. Make the steps measurable, make them simple. You know, do your smart action plan, right? So the S, as we talked about last night, right? Make sure that, you know, you are working on those action plans and, um, and putting together really simple things that you can do to make these changes. Forget about these elaborate resolution that after week one, or week two, or even week, um, month one, you know, you get so disappointed because you cannot um, live up to the expectation of what you set for yourself, right? So make sure you're, you're, you're using the smart action plans to accomplish those goals. And then as you are accomplishing them, give yourself a pat on the back for the small wins. 
Hey, Shelby, how are you? Hey, Adrian, nice to see you, cuz. Nice to see you. Make sure you're giving yourself a pat on the back for the micro wins, right? Because it takes those small steps to get to the big steps. No one goes from point A to point Z at all. There is B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So if you go from A to B, that's an accomplishment. If you go from B to C, that's an accomplishment, right? So give yourself, so make your action plans really simple, attainable, right? Measurable, and then time bound so that you are giving yourself enough time to accomplish the things that you set for to do. So again, if you wanna roll with me and work with me and just join me on this journey as I am going through these 11 steps to self-discovery and awareness. I'm doing it in three evenings. So tonight, again, it's the first part. The questions are there right above the slide. So you can go back and you can look at it. You, I would love for you to write it down and ask your, answer those questions. And here's what I'd love for you to do. I don't want you to answer those questions and take forever to do them. I want you to set a timer on your clock for 90 seconds and answer each question within 90 seconds. Once you hear that ding, it's up, time's up, on to question two, right? So give yourself that 90 seconds, set it um, on your clock to expire at 90 seconds for each question. Question one, what would I want to experience in life if time and money were not an issue? 90 seconds for your answer, boom. Number two, how do I want to grow? 90 seconds, write your answer. Boom, number three, how do I want to contribute to this world? You write your answers within 90 seconds. The, the timer goes off. Number four, who am I? Why am I here? Okay? This will invoke some deep dive into your life, into who you are. Take a look at yourself. Write the answers to these questions. And then I promise you tomorrow night, I have four more questions to you for you. And then on Friday night, I have three more questions and we'll get to 11. At the end of the three nights, I will have a giveaway, a free gift for the person who all three nights write the hashtag identify. So hashtag identify, but it also means you have to be with me all three nights. So if you are not following me on social media or Facebook live right now, I want you to go and I want you to hit follow right where it says notification. So whenever I jump on Facebook live, you'll be able to get the notification so you can join me. All right. I want to say hello to who joined me. Hi, Star. It's great to see you. I hope all is well. Happy New Year. And I want to thank everyone who joined me tonight. And um, I am looking forward to tomorrow night and Friday night. And I want you to just join me on this journey of awareness and self-discovery. Let's just make a change. Let us do everything that we can do within ourselves to be the best of who God created us to be and who we are. Again, this is your girl, Joan T. Randall, author, speaker, transformational, personal, and professional development coach. And I am your guide on this journey to a better you, going from stuck to success in five simple steps. May God bless you. Have a great night. And I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.